Hi there, Selective Collective. Welcome to your reading. It's me, Kim, here to do a reading. This is probably the only reading, unless I get private readings today, this is probably the only one I'm going to do today. But, um, yeah, private readings are available, guys, if you want to support the channel that way. They are $22 to $60, but really, just get it if you uh, feel like you need it. Uh, it is in the description box below. But with that being said, the energy exchange of a like and a subscribe will work just fine. So opening up to your spirit team, your angels. And thank you, by the way, for all the beautiful comments. I love the comments. It is my favorite part of the day. Always check in those because they're so nice. Rare in a day do I get a negative comment. <clears throat> So, I appreciate you. Thank you for that. <laughs> Thank you for your non-judgmental energy. I feel it from this group. Okay, what kind of message do you have for the collective? For real, this, is, this one's coming out. There's another one I saw coming out. But intuitive Life Coaching Oracle. Oh, look, we're starting off with your old soul. Maybe that's why I'm feeling this beautiful non-judgmental energy coming from you. <sighs> it's a breath of fresh air. It's the unconditional love. It's the kindness yeah, given to a stranger. It's the openness for other people's opinions and views to be valid and exist. Oh, it's a love that radiates from being an old soul. Mm -hmm. 21. You have lived many lifetimes and gained wisdom beyond your years. Obsession. Obsession. It's time to get out of your head and back into your heart. Could be overthinking something, possibly. Overthinking. We have the shooting star. The shooting star. You are a shooting star, and you are about to step into your full potential. Mm, celebration on the bottom, too. I'm going to stack them like this. You are a shooting star. So your perception, tw uh, 36, you're getting ready to have a shift in perception that will change everything. And generosity, giving from your heart with no strings attached is what's needed right now, 77. Time to lighten up. You may be taking life too seriously. Oh, 53, soul group. You're getting ready to unite with members of your soul family. And a new door. 46, your prayers have been answered and a new door is being held open for you. All right, old soul. Have a new door that is opening for you. Hmm. So maybe a not so getting completely out of your head, but feeling the connection between that, but ultimately letting the heart lead. Okay, switching to Kim Cran's Wild Unknown Alchemy deck. Let's see what messages we get from it. For the selective collective, what do you have? What do you have? Give me a break. That's the song that came into my head. Give me a break. Give me a break. Break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. So there's something about spirit. Spirit might be hearing your pleas for you to be given a break. A spiritual break of some sort. I don't know. Maybe that's why the new door is here. Oh, the passion. Oh, the Saturn, and the passion, and the desire, with Saturn. Okay. I heard 
big stepper. Someone's a big stepper. Someone is a big boss, big stepper energy that ha that is uh, got a connection, a feeling, burning passion, desire for you. Uh, truly, it might be their obsession, actually, you, because this Saturn pa paired with this passion and desire is not. It's coming across as like this is um, representing time and a timeline, a shift, and somebody's power is being represented by this right now. Somebody's power. It, it, the roles could be reversed, but the calcification card, the way I like to describe calcification is if you have a barbecue grill and you're wanting to have a new barbecue, but you have to clean that barbecue grill first, you would scrape it first, right? With a little wire brush, you would scrape it, and then there would be all these little extra pieces. Okay, that's those extra pieces you're going to put the coals in or whatever you're going to fire it up real real hot hotter than what you would usually use to cook with right and it's to, for the purpose of burning off all the extra so that you can start with a nice clean grill you may have to repeat this process twice in order to get it better or completely clean for yourself so that's it's like burning off the extra and um, but the theme of it is passion and desire, the theme of that card. Hmm. You're powerful. Powerful. Too many. It hit this soul group. That's interesting. With the spark of light. Spark of light. All it takes is a spark. The spark of light card is the spark in the dark. In metallurgy, it would be the spark of you welding or putting something together. So while you're creating, there's going to be sparks. I think you should look forward to sparks, <laughs> to sparklers, or to some, to seeing a lot of other members of your soul family too as these sparks of light. Oh, what is Uranus? Oh yeah. Okay. Well, so Uranus. This means drastic change. And um, you can imagine that picture with, you know, the famous picture with Tesla and the, uh, the electricity. It looks like a big fan behind him, but there's all this electricity. And um, I can only imagine all the ideas that were running through that guy's head. I can only imagine. They must have been... Uh, Amazing, <laughs> amazing. Uh, this energy is going straight to you, straight for inspiration, straight for a brilliant idea. It is this. It's represented by the spark of light. You could say that that spark of light is like a firefly, the like a manic burst of energy, and it's coming from the Uranus planet, which is centric different, electric, out of this world, right? Because it's on another planet, out of this world energy. Hmm. Let's pull from a different deck. Oh, I have conjunction on the bottom. I'll pull that one. Oh, let's pull from a different deck. So divine union emerging and coming together of what is meant to come together. Coming together of what is meant to come together. Let's pull out this rather <laughs> intense oracle I got. It's called Heaven or Hell. <laughs> And it, uh, on one side it has a fallen angel and then it has the corresponding Kabbalistic angel, the higher order angel. 
on the other side. So, <laughs> we get the best of both spirit worlds with this deck. Maybe you can tell us something about these energies here. Little Oracle. Desire for Knowledge. 21, it's, it's the Higher Angel. Nelkael. Nelkael. Desire for Knowledge. Nelkael. 21. Isaiah, 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 Loyalty. And delay. Oh, and the delay is associated with a fallen angel. Oh, that's interesting, isn't it? Because on the opposite side, so that's the fallen angel name is Samagina. The Goetia number is four, but the, the Kabbalistic number is four for the corresponding angel, which would be Elamaya, which is divine power. And that's interesting because I feel like that, in a way, that that begun that becomes a struggle of mine, is to know that there is divine power that can make anything happen at any time. And so when it doesn't, I'm like, why the delay? But there must be. Uh, maybe it's um and an energy involved in a in a delay. Loyalty, desire for knowledge. Oh, the delay might be a vice. Because we have the fallen angel of over vices or a bust. Vice could be overeating. A vice could be too many naps. <laughs> a vice could be uh, drugs or alcohol. Um... A vice could be a codependency relationship that's not even based on any kind of love, but more of a vice hanging or clinging to something, feeling like you need it. But that energy is uh, that energy will tell you and make you feel like, yeah, you do need it. Absolutely. Can't go without it. And but what that energy is doing is causing delay to step in. So now you got two energies coming in that are t compounding a situation having to do with delay 55 I have 21 13 4 and 55 or a bus is the vice okay and, and what is that keeping you from doing possibly having intellectual lucidity so the shift in perception Maybe possibly when a shift of a vice happens or occurs. I would I would think. Mebahaya. So you can always call on the higher angel to help with this angel. That's what they're for. Haya Haya Haya. Politics and ambition. Politics and ambition. That song, War of Hearts, is coming into my head by Ruel. War of Hearts. Even though I try not to. this war of hearts six of pentacle giving Rece giving and receiving reciprocity soul group teamwork effort teamwork effort bringing in success gift exchanging gift giving gift giving <laughs> That this is about me. 
I think this is representing the page even though it has that little emblem there I think it's the page because the other card uh, it, there's no instructions with this <laughs> with this deck and so I mean you can tell me your opinion it, we'll read it both ways then since I don't really know because there's a there's this thing with you would think that's like a knight's armor that little thing up there right but then we have a horse on the other one and so it's either the horse, which could be a knight, or knight's armor, which could be a knight. And then it's like, which one's the freaking page? So I can't ever tell with this deck. So I'm going to read both. Since there's not a horse in it, maybe that's one thing. Maybe this is a page. But it is of one, so this is good news. Good inform A good message coming to you. Very, that's a good point. There's no horse on it, so good news that's one of those very spiritual birds that that is uh right here the, you know you see them on like egyptian walls hieroglyphs uh i think that's associated with anubis actually the look of that bird right there and anubis is the uh it's anubis and and what best best is it best at I don't know, but I do know Anubis is a, like overseer of um, things that are dying or dead. Thirteen. Oh. Okay, Queen of Cups, the Dolphin, the Sun. No, I priestess. These are two. These are three very important cards. So these two plus the sun. There's a waking up or enlightenment about some more gifts or abilities, and a ability to tap into your intuition, getting stronger. Your uh, knowledge base. Uh, the sun shining to me, representing some type of intelligence coming to you through compassion, love, understanding because you're open and receptive and ready to receive it in your high priestess power. So you may be to yourself, very spiritual at this time. But you're also, you're also healing things on the, in the masculine realm, like on the masculine energy, with the masculine energy. Um, There should be there should be like a deep knowing of this energy coming to you without me even saying it or without anybody else talking about it. That something with the energy is increasing in you. That could actually lead to more naps. So and with the big changes and things like that, because this is like to me, this is divine. This is divine guidance, divine light. And that's a cool outfit. <laughs> that's a really cool outfit. That's, um, I especially like the shorts. But, all right. So, caring, kind, compassionate, loving, healing. And something about your uh, gifts and your abilities and your intuition being on point. You have the Wheel of Fortune. So, it's, it's uh, like good news. Good news card. Things moving in a, in a direction, you know, that you're wanting them to move in finally or something like that. The oral borrow, the death, the rebirth cycle, the going around and only to go around again. But this time it might feel like it's a better experience than what you've experienced before. This is bliss and happiness. Fortune and magic. You have the scarab, I feel. I just noticed that. See what I'm talking about with the horse? Okay, see? Yeah, I think this is the knight. All right, well, they're, they're showing both examples. So, because I have, I have the knight's head, and then I have the wand, and then I have the horse head, and then I have the wand. And what would you think? So, now, since there's no horse here, I'm going to for sure say that's probably page of wands. And I think that this one is the knight of wands.
So they're clearing up all confusion that it is about movement, travel, speed, good news, and something coming in rather quick. This new door opening fairly quick. Here's the full. 2020 was on the timer when I said that. So I think you're you're absolutely seeing with clear vision uh, that meaning you're enlightened. Your spiritual eyes have been open. You're coming down from the mountain ready to have a new journey. Um, trust. Trust in the new journey. Yep. We have the uh, justice card. I have another deck where, the, where it's an 8. So this is an 8, but it's switched with the strength card. I, I've had a, I've a, another deck. The Urban Tarot is another deck that does that. That puts them in an the switches the numbers but this is definitely justice you see the scales of justice libra energy so it's your truth um it's balance it's balance it's good karma you could say too bringing this balance nice focus there's many paths available it looks like there's a partnership or a strong alliance that's coming in. It's going to be very important with your next steps for to the three of wands, to your creation, or what you're wanting to be creative about. Something about your visualizations, your plans coming into view. Of course, offering you many different paths and many different possibilities, but the wheel is going to still be turning no matter what path you choose in your favor somehow, some way. Five of Swords. The conflict could be within ourselves if we're talking about vices or delay of some sort. It could be something that we're doing either unconsciously, subconsciously, or something that our soul has decided. And maybe we have on some level and don't even realize it. I have the Nine of Pentacles. Could be waiting on some kind of big financial gain or reward. If you're an entrepreneur, if you have your own business, or you simply are looking for a win in life regarding money coming out of the blue, that's the card for you. Because that is the Nine of Pentacles. It can come to you through a court case through an inheritance, it can come to you through a lotto win, it can come through your efforts where you actually put in the effort, you have your own business, whatever it is, it's a big enough amount to where you can feel pretty, safe sitting pretty, knowing that you have enough to provide for yourself to be self-reliant, independent, and never reliant on anybody else, especially somebody who doesn't appreciate you. So there may be some conflict, like, okay, why am I not to this point? Why am I not to this point? Where is this new thing? But there may be still some things that we are having our own internal conflicts over that deep down we know is what is actually causing a delay of some sort. Oh, I guess it's a point of whether we wanted to admit it to ourselves or not. Oh, and the Eight of Wands. And it's the lady holding a baby who looks like an old man. That's interesting. <laughs> Did you see that baby? <laughs> they, they knew I had to laugh or something. <laughs> this is good news coming in for you. This is good news. This is uh, communication. It's something speeding up that you're wanting to speed up. I would say this would be the end of a delay. This would be the news that you would want for the end of a delay. This could also represent communication regarding travel. Maybe the new door. Maybe the new door. Let's do a rune. That'll be interesting. 2444 on the timer. You're being guided to a soulmate or partnership eventually, whatever this is. It's, oh, I love that. Look at the, what came out on top of the Five of Swords. 
the warrior came out on top of the five of swords. What are these cards trying to help you do to combat that energy which is causing the energy of delay? I just put a comment to somebody else's comment <laughs> on this channel that when we are when we have no one to stand by our side, that is when the warrior archetype becomes available to us. That is when you feel so strong, like you're holding your head up a little bit higher. Why? Because you have to. There is another option, but I don't even like to think about that option. You have to hold your head higher then, and you have to be your support in all directions. You are the warrior, and it's time to go up. It's time to go up. Tabas, the warrior, warrior, honor, spiritual strength, preparedness, self-sacrifice, spiritual self-discipline, achieving victory with honor, righteous success, support noble causes, prepare for battle, focus, challenges to overcome, self-discipline and honor, sharpen your body, mind, and sword. Mm. <laughs> Sharpen your body, mind, and sword. So the fight, hardest ones are with ourselves. Okay. And if you're having an internal battle with yourself over anything, yes, that's being reflected to you somehow, some way, but you know that. Usually that's what we're wanting to change. So we're wanting to change the things on the outside but it's the inside that has <laughs> got that stuff to be there in the first place. Yes, it's not. <laughs> it's fun. It's like a, I don't know. I don't know what I was going to say. I don't know what I was going there with, there with that. I was going to call it something, but it's that it's not. So I'm not going to say that. So we have turtles too. They all have, um, interesting, they have bowls on their back. Or cups on their back but they look like pentacles and so maybe this is about receiving emotional uh, wishes come true also as well as these financial wishes too chess strategy planning checkmate grand design <laughs> thinking ahead tactics moves and counter moves master plan a course of action power play consequence of action okay where to put your tap if you're trying to gather sap <laughs> if you're, where to put your tap if you try so you would just stick it in a tree that would be worth sticking in and then it would passively just come out so this is about acquiring the life force energy to bring your wealth to come to you in an almost passive way I think that's about the strategy for that. Oh, I have bonfire, and it's in the upright. Enthusiasm, energy, heated, intense, joy, ignite, passion, ecstasy, exhilaration, spark, community, sharing ideas, getting things done, orgasm, fanaticism, fever, fears. Also says checkmate. Checkmate. I have eight grapes, abundance, bearing fruit, harvest, fertility, merriment, prosperity, surplus, indulge. Uh, there's that nine of pentacle. Tempting, plentiful, wealth, enjoy the fruits of your labor as you should. 50-50. The reason something is 50-50 could go either way is because there's a situation where you feel like you must move on from um, and there's making adjustment for a new life but there's ultimately free will in your choices right convertible many options free will adjacent possibilities choices could be feeling lonely but look the 50 50 is there because it's a choice there's a choice and if you don't see the choice manifest that you're wanting as in a new door will appear 
then these adjustments to our own internal conflicts or battles uh, will bring about these new doors or options that you're wanting. Broken vase like this is because we're overcoming a hardship or a struggle. We're overcoming a setback or a delay. Okay, getting more connected with your soul family is going to be really important. Could be also other connections, other spirits trying to reach out to you, maybe wanting to work with you, channel information through you. However you work, constellation, network, support, associates, gathered, meetings, socialized, organization, arrangement, a collection, exchanging data, influence, in connection with, in a large amount or quantity. There's the shield, there's the warrior uh, <laughs> over this energy. This energy is very important to work on, I think, because of all the messages that are specifically going to that spot. Um, defensive, protect, support, safeguard, block, guardian, stand up for, being prepared, heroic, stronghold, security, ward off, unwanted energies, be on guard, withstand. Archangel Mickey O. Nine, nine, letting go, letting go of the past. Here's getting rid of a headache, uh, fixing a underlying issue. Checkered flag, conclusion, outcome, finale, completion, verdict, results, signaling the end and finishing first and achievement. You're coming out of a birdcage energy and you're going to feel relieved. The birdcage energy was when we we're feeling trapped in any way, in any way by anyone, by ourselves, by anything. Yeah, well, we're freeing ourselves from the birdcage. Property purchase or sale for many, but heed security concerns in any transaction and then believe. So if you're feeling like, oh, well, the property purchase is probably not me, then don't, don't say that. You have no idea how things might come to you. Um, believe. Coming out next is, is really telling me to tell you that. <laughs> so magic is there when you believe. So dream big things you can achieve. Also, planning this coming on top of this uh, nine of pentacle energy, which is the financial gain windfall. And then the planning says now is the time to lay down the foundations for your future. Financial gains are more than likely at this time. It might be like a spark and the bonfire might have already had kerosene poured on it or something like that. Assert yourself. Go for what you want. The time is ripe for a soulmate connection birth of a child also likely family wherever you go whatever you do your family is here for you and I have sleep underneath the nighttime skies fairy sing you lullabies positive work outcome consistent efforts will bring in rewards and a major purchase is worth making rose quartz crystal I have mine like literally next to my chest um, Currently, all the time, just here last uh, three three days or so, the green fairy, uh, so the, oh, I'm sorry, the rose quartz said, under uh, your pillow, uh, warm like the love that flows. So, it's healing, healing magic. Uh, the green fairy, a cheeky green fairy on your behalf is appearing here to make you laugh. And I love music. Music, fairies dance in the green hollow where the music plays, the joy will follow. That's the truth. That's the truth. Let's pull from this big deck of mixed uh, oracle cards. We'll close out with these. Courage and, courage and willpower in the reverse. Okay, so that's when we have to step into the warrior spirit. Although I'm probably not going to take these in the reverse. <laughs> Wow, do you see that, how it flipped over? And the message is you deserve to be seen <laughs> on that. Oh, 
Yes, you do. Yes, you do. And heard. Seen and heard. And appreciated. We all do. Or a blank canvas. You are a blank canvas here. You have a blank canvas. You can create whatever you want. You deserve to be seen. We have a desire to be seen and accepted as we are. This is a natural desire and it's crucial to our well-being. It is the embodiment of our true self. Nothing to be ashamed of. Give yourself the gift of being seen and accepted as you are in this moment by yourself and others who appreciate you, your soul group, and allow you the space to take or allow you to take up space you need. Inner Child Oracle, that's what that one's from. And this one too, beautiful, coming out with the I deserve to be seen is I am. I am safe, I am supported, I am worthy, I am unique, I am honest, I am true, I am abundant. I am present, I am strong, I am open, I am wise, I am cared for, I am good, I am accepted, I belong. Now is the time to practice affirmations and know that you are. Speak the words that you need to hear for, to yourself right now. Counsel yourself. Talent. Talent. Healthy life force. Every single cell in my body is part of the divine self and my cells carry the light of the creator. Sacred, blessed, a glowing and glowing with a healthy life force. That's a cryon uh, card. And this one right here is the spell casting card. This is another cryon card chemistry for health i nourish my body with nutritious thoughts of love and every molecule pulses and vibrates with this love and releases the correct chemistry for my health yep i have 27 new energy of gaia the new human creates new energy into gaia it which responds to a new energy to you that is how powerful you are 27 let me read that again new energy of gaia the new human creates a new energy into Gaia, which responds with a new energy to you. That's how powerful you are. Four, blueprint of creation. Within Gaia are time capsules holding the blueprint and the template of starting creative energy. Their role is to help create an ascending planet, and they are now buzzing with activity because humanity has chosen love and peace over hate and war, and that is the power of love. Hopefully keep going in that direction. 14. Gaia exists for humans. Gaia exists for the sacred human beings who are on this planet in lesson. Everywhere you walk, you are known by Earth. Gaia is forever your friend and partner. And last but not least, reconcile. Reconciliation. Um, so, uh, reconcile differences maybe too. Maybe that's what that's one. Oh yeah, angel number. Angel number. Could be reconciling with past life soulmate energies too. It can be a divine masculine, divine feminine reconcile from maybe even another lifetime, right? There's 27, the new energy of Gaia expression. I am expressive, and that's my expression number. Isn't that cool? That <laughs> in my numerology, that's my expression number. Anyway, all right. So how you express yourselves. 27, I am expressive, um, valuing freedom of expression. 12, 12, I am focused, stay focused on your best possible future here. 777, seven, seven, your purpose flows. Everything that, that is being revealed to you is part of your purpose. This is indicating you are in the flow state or getting in flow state. Uh, master number 55, substantial changes in your future. Embrace the change and need to overcome your insecurities and let go of your fears. Master number 55, I'm evolving. And then 88, on the cusp of a prosperous, abundant spiritual life that brings you numerous opportunities for success and achievement that also brings in financial and material abundance into your life. I am wealthy, 88. And that's what I have for you. Send any love and light. Bye.